important Plato in our university, and that is KRS, sir, who has reiterated that becoming whole is what healing is all about. And I offer our gratitude to him because he opened our minds and hearts to psychogenesis, which is derived from Greek and Latin, not Sanskrita. In Sanskrita, it should be considered swastya or swast. And salas, health, genesis, source, coming together as the genesis, the factors that enable wellness to manifest. And the heart of salitogenesis is a sense of coherence where we feel that my world is understandable, my world is manageable, and my world has meaning. So if you have this, salitogenesis wellness is there, and if you don't have it, you lack a sense of coherence, which means you have moved from ease, sukham, to disease, dukkham. From sukha to dukkha is where we have moved, and the journey we want to retrace is from dukkha to sukha. Pathogenesis, we are focusing on what causes disease, avoiding the problems, reactive, and against pain or loss, and it prepares one to live or rather survive. When we talk about salitogenesis, what enables health? How do you reach your potential? It is proactive for gain or growth and we learn how to live life fully. And it is a whole continuum. If you look at the treatment paradigm, it only focuses on disability signs and symptoms. But the wellness paradigm goes right from disability all the way up to awareness, education and growth. So the whole spectrum can be covered when we talk of salitogenesis and wellness. And this is why we need to change the paradigm from what did I do today to treat disease or illness to what did I do today to create, promote health and wellness. For this we have to bridge a gap. And this is where the mind-body therapies such as yoga and the RU systems are so effective. Because if you want to integrate, Kabir Raja Udupa talked about the integration. Communication is vital. And to communicate, we need to know what we expect from each other. For example, in pediatrics, can we reduce the crying spells in children and parental anxiety during immunization? Can we reduce the antenatal postnatal complications, the preoperative anxiety in patients posted for angioplasty or even a root canal treatment? Can we enhance the clinical outcome in non communicable diseases, neurological illnesses? Can we give a quality of life in terminal illnesses and can we enhance the compliance to medical management? Well, in my perspective, the answer is yes. The question comes, how? The answer is integrative medicine. And this is where we are looking at qualitative and quantitative aspects. Because we must frankly admit, as was recently said by the Vice Chancellor of Sri Ramachandra, that no healthcare system is totally perfect. We need to see that the strength of one system can help balance out the weakness of the other and by providing an integrated health system, we enhance ultimately patient care and the patient must be the center of our healthcare universe. We need a humanistic model of patient care and an optimal healing environment to manifest serotogenesis. This is why many years ago they talked about alternative medicine. Now the moment I say alternative, it means either you or me. It has created friction. Then they said there is complementary medicine, which means you and me. So you or me became you and me. And today we are talking of integrative medicine, which is us. There is no you, there is no me. It is us, which is the PCI medicine recommended by WHO. When we want to talk about healing, which is what salitogenesis is all about, Lifestyle, attitude, relaxation and breathing are all the factors and well, here at SBV, we have the ISCM with yoga therapy, music therapy that promote all these four components of healing. We can look at a bio, psycho, socio, spiritual model. They used to talk of psycho, socio, it became bio, psycho, socio, now bio, psycho, socio, spiritual and if you look at the biological Venn diagram, the psychological, the social and the spiritual, you can see how whole health and wellness can manifest. 
Well, this is the way we have to go forward. And for that, the biggest message is, if you remove yourself from your problem, you may find the problem resolves itself. I-ness, which is the ego, becomes we-ness and universality. And this is why when we can switch from, you can see those bonds with the me, 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 turning upside down into Shirsasana, it becomes we, and you can move from illness to wellness. The key is relaxation. Because we cannot heal if we are stressed. Very simple. And this is why educing the relaxation response facilitates the healing response. And this, in my perspective, may be the Indian medical system's greatest contribution to modern healthcare, a non-pharmacological <laughs> relaxation. Where the person can do it themselves. And this is where the Ayush systems of Ayurveda, Yoga, Naturopathy, Unani, the Siddha and Saurabhya, which has come in new, and homeopathy come in. How has it been done at SBV? Well, yoga and music therapy services have been provided as adjuvant modalities, integrative modalities. At the bedside, the operation theatres, pre and post of ICU, OPDs, master health checkup services. Every individual is treated with respect, dignity and provided the autonomy of choice. Today at the Royal Health Center, our yoga therapy students said there were four patients. Three of them didn't want to do the yoga. We don't compel them to do it. You have to respect the autonomy of choice. Targeted therapies for individual needs and general salutogenic sessions and ultimately communicating wellness. What we have seen from 2010 for the last 12 years, this work today on 22nd August culminated in the Institute of Salutogenesis and Complementary Medicine. And you can see Dr. Bhushan Patwadan inaugurating it. You can see our respected Chancellor sir visiting recently. And the other day we had a special visit by Sedhavanam sir, the father of Salutogenesis for SBB. We have been providing interdisciplinary clinical services with so many of the departments and so many of you here have collaborated in such work. Educating through the Yoga Vyasa, the MEET program for all our students here, thanks to the support of all the constituent units of SPV. Research activity, again interdisciplinary. Work with dentistry, I must specially point out, for the first time in the world, we have yoga and dentistry papers being published from SPV. And that is amazing, because nobody has done that before. That is where SPV is standing out in the whole world. And what do we find? When you can bring in the adjuvant yoga therapy, music therapy, you can halt the disease progression that is not happening by only using drugs. So the drug effectiveness can be enhanced by adding these therapies. What is the mechanism? Relaxation. The moment you are relaxed, you can heal. A very simple formula there. Community outreach, especially I must point out the Nadam, which is an environmental health initiative and Garabha Sanskar. Because it doesn't start when you have a disease. It starts when the mother is pregnant and the baby is growing. That is the most important part of the developmental psychology. Where the baby is in the mother's womb. What happens to the mother? What happens to the environment? What happens to those significant people in the family? That can be impacted. And for the drum circle for burnout amongst our medical professionals, how many have benefited? They come in so stressed. And they all sit in a circle and they do the drumming. And wow, they go out with such a joyful smile. They come for the yoga session with Dr. Meena. They come in looking very mean. They meet Dr. Meena and they forget the meanness. That is how it works. Innovations. We are very, very happy that one of the policies of SVB on salutogenesis has been based on the work being done here and sustained by each and every one of the SVB family. The Yoga Abhyasa program, this photo at the bottom is a photo I'm always proud of, where you have all those first year MBBS students having a beautiful stretch. I don't think you can see that in any other medical college. Well, now with the new NEP and others, people are starting to create it. This has happened for the last 12 years. SBB has been a pioneer. And the amazing UB Yoga Sandhama with all those students in front of the uh, library and Padmavati ma'am, copyrights that photo which we always use from up there in the pathology department. And a great honor this year was to be chosen by the Ministry of Ayush 
for the 100 days, 100 cities, 100 organizations, and a magnificent display on the beach attended by our Lieutenant Governor Tamil Sai Sandarajan herself. Work during COVID, our yoga instructor Danush and Chalu are COVID warriors going in there with the PPE kit to give the yoga. We work with the neurosurgery with one of our Australian interns. The amazing work with the Divyanga. There is a shot there of Henry Blomfield, the famous cricket commentator, who really appreciated the work when he came here. The work of taking music therapy to the community, the Nadam work, the work in the ICUs. You can see right in the ICU you can take it. You don't see this any place in the world. You don't see this any place in the world except SBB. That is why we must be proud of it, we must support it, and we must take it further. And this is why last time we had an IHRC, Ayush gave us a good sponsorship, and we are hoping for the same support for 2023 event also. The Ayush National Board, I am privileged to be part of it, both Meena and I through the International Yoga Therapy Association taking the name forward, the Health Care a skill council where both Dayanidhi and Balaji are master trainers, the World Federation of Music, recognition of regional liaison for Bona, and one of the biggest compliments was from Dr. Dilip Sarkar, past president of the American Heart Association, who is also the past president of International Association of Yoga Therapists, who having seen the work done here, said this is 21st century medicine. Recognitions by the WHO, the World Federation of Music, the Irish Board, collaborations with international universities, and then comes the most important thing I wanted to share today, mm -hmm. the challenges. Because all of this sounds nice, it all sounds good when we are talking to external committees, when we have visitors come and come and see the new toy uh, in SBB, which is ISCM. They come and enjoy, you know, seeing what the toy looks like and feels like. But what are the challenges? The newness of the concept of integration, which leads to initial resistance. When Dr. Meena started in 2010, so much of resistance was there. Today, that it doesn't exist. Virtually every department in any of our units is open to collaboration. But this is where we started. 12 years it has taken for that to be broken down. Lack of human resources and funding is always an issue. And we have to see that we don't have the understanding of how to bring it about. It is sort of we try, okay, can we do it this way? Will this work? No, it doesn't work. Can we try something else? Can we do a third method and try an error, which now helps others who want to follow our model? Lack of innovative training programs and the difficulty to find curricular space. I must put on record the amazing work done by Dr. Renuka as principal of KGNC where they found that space to bring yoga therapy into the nursing curriculum what, seven or eight years ago, now the nursing council is saying do it. I, I tell you, the how far earlier it was happening at SBV is truly outstanding. How do you overcome the challenge? Human bridges. Ultimately, it's all about communication, meeting people where they are, creating a beautiful team spirit, and the SBB management and administrating, administration giving the infrastructure, human resource and funding, the IPSC guidance, especially Usha ma'am, well over the last uh, so many years now, your guidance to help attain, maintain and sustain quality. It's not just one part, it has to be attain, maintain and now we are working on that sustain part. Regular awareness programs, for example these programs, the orientation programs for the students through the uh, musically express your emotions. What a beautiful program for our students, the Nadam, the Yoga Vyasa, and innovative courses, Yoga Therapy, Music Therapy, and we are now, with the guidance of our respected Vice Chancellor, creating a wellness appreciation program for the general public, which will be offered free uh, in a hybrid mode for people around the Pondicherry region. And electives and co-curricular activity for students, for example, in AHS, the electives are coming. So this type of work, is something very special. I started with Sayyidur Raman Sir, I come back to Sayyidur Raman Sir here. Some gems of wisdom from Professor Kayyapas. Preventive and promotive practices protect against pathology. The beautiful, it looks like one, two, three, four, five P's there. The five P policy. 
health goes beyond mere absence of pathology. Up to 40% of illnesses have no pathological basis, what is called medically unexplained symptoms. Those patients, please send them to yoga therapy, music therapy. Because you will find they are going to go back happier with SBV than if you keep on doing investigation after investigation. Lifestyle based wellness choices can maximize positive life experiences of celebrogenesis. Joy, vitality, serenity, happiness, self actualization, and other qualities which make life worth living. And yoga and music therapy are ancient healing systems of integrated mental, physical, and spiritual practices promoting celebrogenesis. The last slide here is. For too long, we as humanity have adopted an egological methodology where we are at the top. We have to move from egological to ecological. Where we realize we are part of the entire system, we are part of the whole. What we do affects the rest of the planet. And once we move from ego to ecological, there is going to be a big transformation happening throughout the world. Thank you for this patient listening. And I thank once again IQSC and Usha Man for this opportunity. Thank you.